Hi, my name is Dexter Griffin. I'm with FlashCharacterAnimation.com. Today's tutorial, we're going to create a simple butterfly. Then we're going to make it fly across the stage. Okay, let's get started. First thing we need to do is set up the stage. So click Properties. The default is 550 by 400. I want to change that to inches. I want to get 11 inches by eight and a half. Okay, that's like a piece of sheet of paper, typing paper, you can print that out on your computer real nice. Okay, now let's create, let's get this in the middle. Let's create the butterfly. First, make sure the stroke is off, it's off right here. So we want to get a circle. Hold down shift and make a circle. Now we want to do that again, make a smaller circle. Now we want to take this circle and put it up to here. And now that's basically what we're going to make our butterfly from. Take this corner and push it up. Take this one and pull it down. And that's basically our butterfly wing number one. So we click that. We go up here to edit, copy, Paste in place, and we go to modify right here, down to transform, move over, down to flip horizontal. Use your arrow keys and nudge that over. Yeah, now if you go past it, go back because you want those two to touch right here. Okay, now use your bucket tool or click K on your keyboard and fill that in. Now we want to add a head and a tail. So that don't hold shift and then you'll make a little one of those. Click this. Move it down in place. Center it. Great. Go up to edit. Copy. Paste in place. Move it down. Down. Okay. Now we have our butterfly. Now, you want to copy this, but you want to select it, go up to Modify, Convert to Symbol. Now, we want to call this Butterfly. Okay? Now, we're good to go. Now, on this Butterfly, I want to move this down here, because we're going to go into this symbol, and I want to align this to this butterfly, align it to its state. See, it this line around here is the butterfly state. Let's go in here. Now we got scene butterfly. On this timeline, we want to center this to this. So we go over here to align. Make sure align to stage right here is selected. And you click align horizontal center, align vertical center. If you can't see this align to go up to windows, align. And, you, and you'll get it. Okay, now that you have that centered, we're going to create the animation. To do that, we go out four frames and add a keyframe. Insert keyframe. Go out another four frames and add another keyframe. Now you can click F6 also to add that keyframe. So now we have keyframes. We have a keyframe here, a keyframe in the middle, and a keyframe here. Now the one in the middle, we're going to squash the wings together and then let them go back out. And that's going to create the flapping motion for the butterfly. Before we do that, I want to create a motion tween in between these keyframes. So right click, create motion tween. Right click, create motion tween. Now we have a motion tween between these. Now click the one in the center. And now we're going to hold down, we're going to Hit the free transform tool, which is right here. And you can also click Q to get that. And now we're going to hold this, and we're going to hold shift, and we're going to push in. And it's going to give us a nice little in flap. Now when we go back out here, it goes back. So now if we scrub it, we see it flapping. We got our little butterfly. Now let's test that and see what that looks like. Looks good. Okay, I think we can get a little more to it if we put some easing on it. So to do that, we click between here on that motion tween. We click down here and bring up our property. 
Now down here you see where it says ease. It says motion twin ease. We want to ease this up to 100, all the way to 100. Now you do the same thing with this one. You ease it up to 100. Now let's test our moving. A little smoother, a little more to it. Looks good. Okay. Now we want to put this on a guide layer. Go out of the butterfly and into back into the normal scene. Get rid of these um, properties. Now that we have this, we want to reduce this butterfly. Before we do that, we want to put this pivot point here into the center. So click the free transform tool and we want to if you go closer to it you notice that you get this little dot when you hear it's a square for, for selecting now it's a dot move that into the center okay now that we have that I want to reduce this down hold shift and bring it down okay now move it over to about here now we need to hook it to a guide. So to create a guide, we go over here to insert layer, and on this bottom one, let's call it butterfly. And the top one, we're gonna call it guide. Okay? Now, in order to make this butterfly fly, we need some frames out here. Go out to frame 50 and insert frame okay now we want to create the guide so go up to the guide layer click frame one and we're going to do this guide with the pencil tool so we're going to start here and let the butterfly fly up around and maybe back down you can do what you want here this is your own free flowing thing and let it go up remember it's a butterfly fly up and up and up and around and maybe back around again, up and then out. Okay? Now there's that guy. Now I don't like this little piece that it did right here. It left a little something on it. So let's take that out. Just top, select it, let go, and it opens it up. Now you want to just take the, you see how you get that point? When you get that it's square, now it's a point. Now you can pull that over and they stick together. Okay, now that you got that working, we need to put this butterfly on the guide. To do that, these two are now on their own layer. We need to click the butterfly layer and push. No, first we need to turn this guide, activate this guide. So click on the guide, right click, and click guide. Now when you do so, you notice you get a little T-square right here. Now we want to put the butterfly into the guide layer. So click on this layer name and push up. Then push forward and let go. And now you see you have this T-square turned into this arc and it's now indented under the word guide. Now you can put this butterfly on the guide layer. To do so, you simply click it, click in the center and push up. It turns transparent and you can see that little circle. Let go and it's now connected to the guide. Now, in order to make it fly across, we need to connect it to the other end. So we're gonna click at the end, insert keyframe. Now that we have a keyframe there, the guide isn't showing because the guide is only in layer one. So we need to put some more frames out here for the guide. So you click here, insert frame. Now the guide is all the way across. Now, in order to put the butterfly at the other end, we wanna click here, we want to take the butterfly from here and bring it over to here. Now we want to grab it in the center. Remember, in the center. If you grab it out here, it just moves it. But if you grab it in the center, it turns transparent and it'll snap to the end. Make sure your snap to objects is on over here. Okay? Now that you have that, you have the butterfly here and here. Now you want to key create a keyframe in the middle. I mean a motion twin. And so you click create motion tween here and now the butterfly if you scrub it it's following the path but if we test our movie it's staying vertical that's not cool okay so what we want to do is the reason it's doing that is because when it gets over here flash doesn't know what to do with it 
So we need, that's because it's pointing up. So we need to click here and point it down. Turn it all the way around until it's pointing down. Now, let's scrub the head. See, it's following it a lot better, but it's still not perfect. Some areas, see like right there, it's still pointing that way. Now when it gets here, it's okay. Okay, so to fix that, what we need to do is click on this tween here, bring up our properties down here at the bottom, and go down here, you see where it says orient to path. Click that. All right, now get rid of this property bar. Wrong one, get rid of the property. All right, now what we want to do is scrub through and now look how it follows the path. Beautiful. Okay, now let's test our movie. Fantastic. That's it.